So this week was a pretty big week in my training. It was kind of giving me a feel of how my meet might go, I'm trying to set some numbers. Each day there was, I wouldn't say doubts, but definitely fear just because it's uncharted territory for me. I'm still new to the sport. I, I mean, I've been lifting heavy for a while. Um, but not in this fashion at all because there was always supplemented with some type of athletic training for football. So no one's programming for me. I take like other programs and kind of modify them to my needs. And so it's really just me trusting myself and trusting my training leading up to that lift. Um, so like going to the squat was my biggest worry because the week before I didn't feel great in my squat. I Three weeks before that I did 515 for a double and it moved so fast. And then I did 515 the week before my 545 and it moved slow. So I was nervous, so then I just, you know, been grinding, put a lot of trust in my, a lot of faith in my own programming and uh, just had to take a risk and had to go for it and it worked out pretty well. Monday I hit 545 for a double which is 98% of my competition max, so that's like a pretty good confidence booster kind of leading up. When it came to grind time, that first rep came up pretty pretty easily, so um, I was pretty pumped about that, and the second rep was a grind, but we didn't gotta expect that. a little worried because with how my deadlift always goes it's always slow off the floor and then fast past the knees. My lifetime PR is 630 and my meet PR is 617. In my head I was like it's only a 10 pound jump for my best lift but it's there's still in the back of your mind it's like oh man what if I don't get this which is not a big deal if you don't get the lift because you just you know shake it off and keep training but uh, it moved and so I was really happy about that. Wednesday I had a lifetime PR on deadlift uh, 640, which is the number I wanted to hit at my first meet. Once I pulled on uh, 585 for my first attempt at that meet, I knew that wasn't going to happen. So, uh, so that, that felt good, especially since I've been kind of purposely sabotaging my legs before deadlift days because I learned during a meet that your legs don't feel that great going into it for deadlifts. So to be able to pull 640 under some, some fatigue was really nice. Shoulder press is just all kind of new for me. Not new-ish, but just the way I'm training it. I've been doing a lot of it lately, so I had a pretty good idea that I'd be able to hit at least five reps. And my goal was to be able to do body weight, shoulder press, so 230 pounds, for at least five reps. And six reps was a true goal because I want to be able to do a one rep max at 275. I wasn't exactly sure how it would go just because I just started bench pressing again like a week and a half ago, so uh, there's a little more fatigue in the arms, but it moved pretty well. The legs got a little shaky, but it just like it just came down just to be confident in the training, confident in uh, my abilities, always grinding when I don't want to grind. This all was kind of a big surprise for me because I am in the process of actually starting to cut weight for the meat, so I've cut back my calories, been adding a little more cardio, which doesn't help heavy lifting at all. But so it really surprised me to be able to hit the numbers this week. Huge confidence booster going to the next few weeks of training. Uh, meets closer than, than I anticipated. When I first started you know, training for this, it was 22 weeks out from the meet, and now I'm sitting at 10 weeks out, and it went by way faster than I thought. So I'm pretty excited for the, uh, the goals for the meet. This gives me a vague idea of what I'll be able to hit for at least my first couple lifts. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely fun to make. It was fun to put a bit more effort into a film and try to create a story. If you haven't seen part one, part one, I'll link below. If you wanna see more of Dakota's story, make sure you follow him on Instagram. His Instagram account will be linked below. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys next week.